Oh, thank goodness, a seat. Oh, that's what I needed. Oh, right. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. How lovely to see you. Are you all right? I hope so. Um, well, I'm Rev Jill and um, I'm actually on a pilgrimage. Um, that's, a, that's a walk, a walk to help me think about God and, um, and Jesus and how maybe I can learn to follow him a bit more closely and follow his example of um, being kind and loving and things like that. So that's what I'm up to today, except um, the problem is I think I've got a blister coming. So, um, so you won't mind, will you, if I take my boot off and my smelly sock um, to find a plaster to put on. So um, in my bag here, I've got quite a few bits and pieces, but I have got my first aid kit. I did remember to put it in. I nearly didn't, but thank goodness I did. Um, so I've got my, my torch, my light, um, in case I find myself a bit in the dark. And of course, Jesus helps us not just in the dark, but all the time. He shows the way. Jesus is the light of the world and he shines ahead of us and shows us the way. Um, I've also got a map and that's really important because I don't want to get lost and again Jesus will show us the right way to take if we follow him he leads us through life on the right path so um, oh great here we are my first aid kit let's see what we've got in here I hope I've got some plasters yeah there we are great so um, while I just put this on, maybe we can think a bit about a first aid kit and, and life. I mean, it's quite good, isn't it, to have a first aid kit on a walk, but Jesus wants us to be fit and well, not just physically, but mentally as well, not to worry about things, um, not to be anxious, and he wants to us to live a life of peace in relationship with him and with God. So it makes me think it would sort of be useful to have a first aid kit through life, through our life's journey, wouldn't it? And um, that makes me think about the Bible as well, because actually the Bible is a really good place to start when we're feeling a bit like we need some help. I mean, it's good to read it when we're happy as well, but particularly in difficult times, um, God does speak to us through the Bible. And here's, um, here's a piece from Psalm 28, actually, which reminds us that God listens to us. It says, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. So that reminds us that God is our strength and our shield. He protects us and he helps us. He makes us strong in difficult circumstances. So that's a wonderful thing to have in our spiritual first aid kit. And maybe actually we could be a sort of first aid kit to other people. Because when we follow Jesus, Jesus wants us to become like him more and more, bit by bit. Um, so I wonder if today we couldn't just do something really kind for somebody um, or be encouraging to someone. And um, maybe just a smile actually, that's great isn't it? If you're feeling a bit fed up and a bit down, it's lovely if someone just gives you a smile. So that would be a really lovely thing to do today. Let's try and be a first aid kit to other people as we think about Jesus and the way he is a first aid kit to us. Let's just um, say the Lord's Prayer together then and then I'll finish with a prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So let's pray this prayer together. God of all time, stay close to us as we journey through life. When our feet and our hearts are weary, we ask for your protection and comfort. When we laugh and enjoy the sunshine, help us to continue to support and encourage one another. And we ask that you give us good friends for the journey and help us to be good friends to other people too. Amen. Right, well, I'm going to continue on my journey. I can't wait to get back into school and see you all and catch up with you. That will be really something I'm looking forward to so much. Um, but meantime, stay well and um, all the very best on your own pilgrimage as you journey along with God and with Jesus by your side. Bye.